A very good afternoon and welcome back to the Touchline on Y254. My name is Maxwell Wasiko Soro. Robert is still with us, my able co-host. And of course, joining us is a big man as far as the world of cricket is concerned. Not only recognized locally, but he's made headlines even on international front. Cricket legend and icon Maurice Odumbe himself joining us for the second time. Big man, how have you been? Very well, thank you very much. Long time, man. Long time. Thank you for having me. How are you settling in as a batting coach for the Kenya cricket team? How are things so far? Uh, so far... <clears throat> Okay, I'm supposed to be the national team coach at, at the moment, <laughs> but things are not good. Uh, the boys have not been practicing for the past two months uh, because of issues to do with contracts. And, uh, you know, just the, we just don't know what is happening. There, there is no office. The office that had been put there, the interim committee, uh, their mandate has elapsed. They were given three months, so that is over. Now we are waiting for directions from either the new CS, uh, Ambassador Amina Mohammed, or from the Sports Tribunal, because I believe <clears throat> there are cases out there. Rankling has mm -hmm. been, you know, a major monster as far as these federations, not only in cricket, but basing on the sport, which you yourself is a specialist mm -hmm. in, what might be the source of these, you know, never-ending <laughs> disputes? Uh, it's got a lot to do with ego you know uh, some people feel that they deserve more than the others um, and also pride and and if you ask me some of these people have been in cricket long enough you know they've run the game and for them to be coming back again I think it is not on and this wrangling will never end as long as we have people who feel that look of I've given so much to cricket, now it's my turn or it's my time to be running the game. It's not on, you know. And as I said, there are a lot of egos going around. It's got nothing to do with cricket at all. Because these are two camps that they can sit down, come together and quash out all these manenos and we move on. You know, but why would they want to run to court? For what? What is it that I'm protecting? You know, this this is a, a, a game, you know, I was there, I played, I left, somebody else took over. So it's the same way with the officials, and I'm not only talking about cricket, I'm talking about all sports across board. Some people never wanted to leave, uh, they had to be forced out. So it's the same thing that is happening to cricket, some people don't want to leave, and uh, in the process, everybody suffering, the coaches, the players, the guys who are, are manning the office at Raraka. So not, not everything has now come to a standstill. The question would be, mm. the major reason that they don't want to leave, is it money, pride, or what is it? Does Cricket Kenya make a lot of money that these people want to sit there mm. and have the cash every day, or what, is, what can be attributed to? Uh, uh, well, <clears throat> there is money, but this is not money that it will be easy to sort of sort of put your hands in the coffers. It's, it's not that easy. Yes. But it's all about pride. I'm the chairman. Uh -huh. I am this. You know, people listen to me. Uh -huh. And going for those international meetings, yes. interacting with all these top guys, the shakes and uh -huh. the, the sars and all that. Uh -huh. that. That's what it's all about. Uh -huh. Because if you ask me, if these people claim that they, they love cricket and they're doing it for cricket, uh -huh. we should not be in the courts. We shouldn't be. Yeah. And somebody or some of them should be man enough to say, look, I'm stepping aside so that the game can move on. But nobody wants to do that. Right. Oh, sorry, Robert, mm -hmm. you and I, by the virtue that we have had passion for this uh, industry of journalism, especially sports, I know we might have been lucky to watch one Morris Odumbe at our tender age stage. Mm -hmm. But now, looking forward, going forward, cricket, just like golf, is not a sport that is closely associated, is not meant for the majority, unless you have got exceptional talent and you also have got unwavering passion for the sport. From what the champ is saying, going forward, I don't know, from where you sit, objectively speaking, from journalistic angle, what's the long-term solution to this debacle? Well, it's hard for me because I'm not an insider of Cricket Kenya, but I think it's all about removing in this office completely. A big overhaul of the office, like what yeah. Gabon Federation have done in football, just crash out the whole office, 
get everybody completely out yes. of the office mm -hmm. and bring in new people who can run the sport forward. You don't want to have, because from what the champ is telling you about, it has people who have been there for a very long time. I believe True. even the day you made your debut mm. back mm. in 1990, there was someone in that office who is there up to today. No, no, <laughs> so, some have passed on, but yeah. there are some who've been around for quite some for time. For quite some time. For quite some time. Yeah. And uh, if you look at their track record, it's mm. not impressive. Yes. At all. Yeah. You know, and, uh, and these are the, the people who should actually make way for others. Mm -hmm. People should be given a chance yes. also to lead. Yeah. You know, I, I might have better ideas, who knows? Yeah. But because somebody uh, has friends who will be voting for him, it's mm -hmm. practically impossible to get in there. Yeah. And another reason why we are fighting mm -hmm. is we need to change our constitution, mm -hmm. then have elections. Yes. We need to spread the game, take it even all the way to Mandera. That is what the new constitution at is. The at yeah. the grassroots. At the grassroots. Kabisa at the grassroots. Yeah. Now some people are saying, oh, we don't have time for this new constitution. Mm -hmm. And without that constitution, we cannot have elections. Yeah. So what happens? Uh, the former CS Echesa had to put in an interim committee mm -hmm. for three months. No, the first committee came, they didn't do anything. Those yeah. 30 day, 90 days elapsed. Yes. Then Without another, them doing anything at all. Concerning. Nothing, nothing to yeah. do even with the constitution, maybe yeah. not even one page. Yeah. Leadership continuity, nothing. This is it. And yeah. then they, they ask for extension. Uh -huh. Now, even this group now, yeah. whose term has elapsed, they might ask for an extension. But why would you want an extension when in 90 days you've not done anything? Yes. All right? So to me, I think uh, Ambassador Amina Mohammed should just crack the whip. You know, tell these guys, withdraw, withdraw the cases. Uh, whoever has filed a case or whatever at yeah. the court, withdraw, we are sitting down, we are thrashing this matter here and now. Because another thing, sorry. Yes. We might even get banned by International Cricket Conference. As we speak, they've refused to release money to Cricket Kenya uh -huh. until and unless we get our house in order. Yes. Now, and this affects the under 23 and the under 19. We lost to Nigeria, yeah. Yeah. Sierra Leone, just yeah. the other day. Yes. Now, next month, we are supposed to be going for Africa qualifiers, same as what the under 19 went for. Yes. No, we are not preparing. And those other guys are preparing. They're not waiting for us. Mm -hmm. For the past two months, myself and David Obuya will go to the ground, sit for two hours, nobody turns up, and we leave. And What's the reason for players, players. Uh, players' failure not to turn up? Is it the, because no of contracts. unpaid allowances uh, and salaries well, and their dues? Salaries have been paid, but they don't know the way forward. They don't have contracts, mm -hmm. right? I, I cannot be coming for training when I don't know what I'm going to get at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. At least there should be some commitment for the players. Even mm -hmm. for us, I don't have a commitment, but I'm still going there. Because mm -hmm. of passion and passion love for and the sport. All that. And uh, since I was appointed, I've not been told, hey, pack your things and go. Yeah. So I'm assuming I'm still handling them until yeah. such a time when they will we'll have elections and things are done properly. Yeah. Maurice, mm. in other sporting disciplines like football and rugby, we've seen you know former players getting actively involved mm. in the administrative, uh, even managerial level, uh, and uh, you are know you sure? uh, several things that mm. you know <laughs> sport entails. As we speak right now, Humphrey Kayang is involved. He's mm -hmm. a former uh, rugby player. He's yes. even uh, having a position at National Olympic Committee of Kenya, the likes mm -hmm. of you know Musa Otieno, mm -hmm. uh, former Tegat. captain yeah. for the mm -hmm. national team. Mm -hmm. Mr. Paul Tergat, yes. oh, world cross icon. country yes. champion. Yes. Yes. Do you think the same should be applied in cricket? People like yourself, you know, Steve Ticolo, mm -hmm. or, or Buya, and the rest, yeah. you know, it's getting actively yeah. involved and being given a prominent role. And, and that that should happen. It should be automatic. Yes. If, if you look all over the world, okay, it's the former sportsmen and sportswomen who are being called back. Yes. Even look at football commentators. Yes, most of them are former. Players, former players, right? Yeah. But it seems it is only here in Africa where former players are not liked. Mm -hmm. uh, up to now, I am flabbergasted that where is somebody like Bobby Ogola? Uh -huh. Somebody like Dr. J.J. Masiga? Yes. Now, if these are not people who should be involved in football, then who is? No disrespect to Nick Mwendwa, okay? Yeah. Maybe he played village football, I don't know, mm -hmm. you know, but when you compare to people like Dr. J.J. Masiga, 
you know. You, you, look, you look at a scenario like it's Zambia. It's like Beckenbauer and, and yeah. I don't know who. Yes, <laughs> yes. they it's play like Beckenbauer. Yeah, and we all know what Beckenbauer is in Germany when it comes to that football. But but maybe the uh, unwillingness and reluctance of former players, you know. No, we don't have the contesting money. Contesting for exactly. those positions. We don't have the money to be contesting. Because if you look at people who are there, who have, who have always been chairman and all that, there are people who have the money to lobby. Yes. Right? Now, I will not expect somebody like Bobby Ogola to be going uh, around 47 Trying counties. Trying to convince the electorate no, to endorse no, his candidacy. No. It's whoever takes over as the chairman, then you look around. Oh, who do we have? I have Bobby Ogola here. He'll be in charge of all the academies in the country. Something like that. And I heard you talking about from the grassroots why God is not having its own academy. Yeah. They should. But if you ask me, we need to do away with teams like MOW, you know, these small, small teams. Let's go regional. We, we do away with this business-oriented uh, parastatal uh, teams. Uh, do away with that. It yeah. doesn't help. Because yeah. if you have Nairobi playing Eastern, you will fill the stadiums. Yes. That's true. Right? But yeah. if you have Sofa Parker playing... Because the cricket, rivalry will be on another this, level. This yeah. is it. I'm supporting my city. Uh -huh. Tottenham. Yeah. My support, town. Yeah, my town. Manchester yeah. City, Man United. These are towns. Yeah. So that is the way I think we should go. Mm -hmm. it, is, it will be painful to do away with Gormai, AFC Leopards. Mm -hmm. But if we want to grow our sports, we need to go regional. We be, need be, to you, you realize like in the Kenyan Premier League, for example, mm -hmm. or in cricket, for example, most of the clubs are based in Nairobi. This is it, yes. Yeah. 18 clubs, out of 18 clubs, mm -hmm. 10 or 12 clubs mm -hmm. are in Nairobi. Even our regional So they don't represent clubs. national outlook? No, they it's don't. Not. Yeah, it is not. It's not. You need mm -hmm. clubs going mm -hmm. back home. Mm -hmm. You need a, a club that, let go, go back to Kisumu mm -hmm. or Homa Bay to yeah, come yeah. back with a lot of fans. FC, go back to Ebuye. Mm -hmm. And back because you have a home base that is already waiting for you that can help you build clubs like Shabana. They are trying because they are based at home in Kisil and it's their own region, so you can try. But when you come to a club like Sofa Paka, you're based in Machako, you don't have that appeal to appeal the local. To the local, uh, yeah, this that's is it. True, yeah. yeah. You don't tell, true, yeah. Yeah. you're actually yeah. just mm -hmm. using your facilities. Mm -hmm. But if they were training there, they had a camp where mm -hmm. the kids from there is an identity. This yeah. is it. Yeah. You know, and there are age groups yeah. under twenty one, under nineteen. Uh, those are things that we should be having in each and every county. You know, why why are we losing to these other countries? We should ask ourselves what kind of facilities do they have? We just don't have to, pr uh, to prepare two months prior to a big event. No. Uh -huh, yes. These are things you start preparing 10 years from now. Olympics, are we going to produce a swimmer? Yes. We start now. Let mm -hmm. the kid be maybe 10. Mm -hmm. So by the time the kid is 17, mm -hmm. he or she has already started climbing that ladder. You but for the, for, the, for the shortest time, for the mm -hmm. shortest period of time you've been at the helm, of Kenya cricket as their batting coach. What mm. do you make of the level of potentiality and capability uh, in the players and even in terms of uh, young talent coming up to join the national team? The talent is there, but the question is this. Do these players have peace of mind? You know, it's all about peace of mind. You know, you, do, <clears throat> you don't want to go somewhere and you're worried that when you come back home, you'll find a padlock. In your house. Uh, you know, yeah. Yes. And you're a national Player. Team player. Uh -huh. These are things that should not be happening. Mm -hmm. You know, a team player or, or, or a national team player or even, even local because now they are professionals, even football. Yes. Your job is to play. You don't have to worry about my allowance has delayed. Oh, my salary has not been paid. No, you don't hear those kind of things in Europe. So why is it happening in, in Kenya? I'll, I'll talk about Kenya because this is home. Yes. yes. You know, and, and these are things that I don't understand. And we seem to have and, leaders. And not, not even happening mm. today. It has been happening uh, from way from from yeah. This yeah. is yeah. it. Uh, uh, way, mm. way early there. Yeah. Still happening up to today. Yeah. So, so, so we need to change our setup completely. Look at the other day they recalled the volleyball team, the ladies volleyball yeah. team. Yeah, Kenya prisons. How embarrassing is that? They were repatriated you know, yeah, because exactly. the government claimed they, they, left uh, they didn't permission. authorize their departure. So who paid for the air tickets <laughs> and all that? You know, so Yet they are policemen. They are police the Government service. employees. Yeah. Yes, and yeah. they were even sacked until Matiangi intervened. No, you know, th those kind of things, what kind of an image are we portraying? What, what message are we sending out there, to be honest with you? And I, and I know for a fact, 
Yeah. Us Kenyans are very talented people, and not only in sports, in a lot of things. You know, we travel, we see, we interact with these people. Yes. Right? But the amount of talent that is... It's too immense. A lot. They talk about uh, Tour, uh, Tour de France cycling. How many cyclists do we have in Western Pandey who used to ride black mambas? Who and can go there and give those guys a run for them? And money. Chris Froome, Chris Froome was being coached by... Uh, some guy who was riding a black yes. mamba. Yeah. They talk about this rowing. We don't yeah. have those guys who can row. Give we this have, guy have them. good facilities, good training. You want to tell me in six, seven years time, this guy will not even bring a bronze medal? Mm -hmm. They will. Yeah. But uh, we are not making the atmosphere conducive for our people to excel. I don't believe it's only Wanyama who can play out there. I don't believe that. There are so many out here. But, Morris, in all your experience as a player, as a coach, and uh, as a sportsman in this country, mm. it all goes down to policy, for government policy. The, go the government seems to be the one that has up. failed mm -hmm. everybody yes. since from the mm. time we earned independence to yeah. realize that our government did not just have that initiative to go out there and say, mm. Sports can help us in economic development in the country. Very true. No, yeah. th but it, you are very right. Yeah. They promised us how many stadiums? Five. Five. Uh -huh. How many have been built? None. Right? So now, what are the youth supposed to do? When we, 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 we are lying to them, we'll build stadiums for you, we will want you, you know, you don't have to be a doctor to earn money, you know, you can be a sportsman. And, and, and who earns big money in the world? Sportsmen. Sports people. Sports people. Suarez, I was reading, 500,000 pounds a week. Mm -hmm. Yes. 50 million bob. Mm -hmm. Come on. The who likes is, of Tiger Woods in golf. This is it. And we have these guys, but is the atmosphere right for them to showcase their talent? I don't think so. So the policy is totally wrong. Compare and contrast mm -hmm. your heydays mm -hmm. of sport, not only cricket, mm -hmm. with the current days. I know in the past, sport mm -hmm. was not, was not uh, perceived as a key priority, as an income generating At activity, all. because mm -hmm. uh, there was lack of goodwill mm -hmm. from the stakeholders. Even the corporate entity mm -hmm. didn't come to support uh, various sporting activities mm -hmm. in the country. But what's your comparison in terms of even growth, mm. potential, are we getting progressive or we're still stagnant? No, we are not getting progressive because if we are get, look, we reached the 2003 World Cup, yes. Cricket World Cup. Now, hardly 15 years down the road, we are in Division 3. We are playing the likes of Rwanda, Nigeria. And instead of playing Sri Lanka, India, India, Australia, well, and all that. Big teams. Big teams. Yeah. Now, in a period of about 10 years, yeah. we've gone back that much, then something is not right. Very we, true. We, we, everybody is moving forward. Why are we moving backwards? Mm -hmm. When we know what we are supposed to do. Because you worked mm -hmm. hard to mm -hmm. get to that World Cup. This now it's it. built on from us getting mm -hmm. to the World Cup is going forward. This is it. Yeah. Not going backwards. Mm -hmm. But here is a, is a scenario whereby we are going backwards. Right? We are the passion. Nowadays, you know, you have to pay players. Forget it. If there's no money on the table, nobody will turn up. Yeah. Right? And, and we've made it such. We, we watch the man news and all that. We read what people are making. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I'm representing my country. I ought to be paid. Yeah. You know, how many of our former greats are dying poor here and it, it breaks my heart. Yeah. And we're not man. doing anything. You read this guy, 60 something, gold medal, this and that. And the guy. My, is my the, Euro, my, my Euro. Euro the, yeah. the, 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 the same Kishu. thing you tell telling me is what former international and FC Leopards player mm. Mickey Wecher once told me. He coaches Strathmore University nowadays. Oh. He said that. Uh, comparing his days mm. with the current crop of footballers, they mm. used to play for, you know, passion. Yeah, and like today, it has okay. to be remuneration package. It's a yeah. determining but, factor. But, mm -hmm. but you cannot but blame this player because at the end of the day, this player has got bills to pay. Yes. This player has mm -hmm. got a child at school. Yes. He's got yes. a mom mm, back yeah. home. You've mm -hmm. got rent to pay. Mm -hmm. So they have the, plenty the, of duties yeah, to yeah, attend yeah. to financial. The, 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 the scenario back in the 80s, back in the 90s, is not the scenario today. Not at yeah, all. It's, it's mm. very different because now our shilling has gone up. At the end of the day, you need that money for you to survive. Mm. Yeah, and even if we got the passion to do this job, you got the passion to go and play, 
passion will not put food on the table for you. Mm. During the conversation at no. Swell, hashtag touchline Y254, to Asike Maxwell at Osoro Bats, at Y254 channel, we hosting former uh, cricket, you know, international. He was the skipper for the national team and he was amongst the squad that represented the country in 2000. Three mm -hmm. World Cup for Kenya, and he says that during their heydays, Kenya played heavyweights and you know, giants in terms of cricket, the likes of Sri Lanka, Australia, India. But he says that nowadays the standards have dwindled, and looking forward to the restoration of lost glory. Keep contributing, and of course, we're going to be sampling some of your you know, uh, views uh, during and even at the tail end of the program. Champ, yes, for the shortest time, you've been at the helm of mm -hmm. Kenya cricket. Mm -hmm. What can you be proud of as the achievements you've attained so far? Okay. <laughs> because we've been starved of trophies. We've not won a trophy for I don't know how long. Uh, when we went to Rwanda and won an Africa Cup, yeah. right? I think that is the achievement that I can talk of, rather, yes. right? But if you ask me, that's not an achieve achievement compared to the kind of opposition we used to play. Yeah. Because it is expected of us to go and win this kind of Africa qualifiers and all that. Mm -hmm. Because at the moment, even beating Uganda, we tend to celebrate. It's, it's an it, achievement. It, it is an Which achievement. Is something that is not supposed to be. Uh, not at all. So for us to go and win in Rwanda, it's an achievement for Kenya cricket now. Do you miss it? I do, do miss it. You play, playing the game. Yeah, I do miss it. I, yeah. I, I miss playing hard and... Yeah. And, and, and just giving your best. And there's yeah. nothing as good as representing your country. You know, it's, it's something. Yeah. Plenty yeah. of questions uh, trickling in. Of course, some guitar is asking, <laughs> he's saying, just a funny one, are there ball tempering issues in Kenya's cricket? And he's saying that with comparison to Australian team captains who tempered with mm. a ball uh, while they go against South, South Africa. Africa. No, no, there's no ball tampering because the level we are playing, even if you you, you, tam you, you tamper with it, it's, it's not going to make any difference. So th th there's no, 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 not at this level, no, not at this level, not the Kenyan level. If no. not at we, Kenyan we, we've level. got no. cricket clubs here in the country and we are an amateur country in terms of cricket. Mm. If we professionalize it, mm. how good can it be for cricket Kenya? Very good, very good. If we take it regional where we have Kisumu, Mombasa, Nakuru, Eldoret, Tika, it will be wonderful. There, there will be more sponsors. Uh, TV will come on board. Uh, you'll be having academies. You'll be having kids coming through because all these regions will be required to have an academy. Yes. And to have a setup of under this, under this, under this, and under that. Yeah. That is what needs to be done that each and every club or each and every team must have sort of a line where yes. this fits this one and then this one, like what they have out there. Yeah. You'll find Barcelona has a, a youth team, has I don't know what. And yes. Yeah. So you progress. Eight great categories. Uh, there you go. And Felix Okura is asking that the mm. uh, presence of the champ in the national team, is it ceremonial? Because he says towards the end of last year, mm. you were supposed to travel, they were yeah. supposed to travel to South Africa, but at the 11th hour, mm. you got knocked <laughs> off the traveling yeah. party. So this happened? Yes, uh, it's not the first time. I'm surprised that you can remember that. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Uh, you know, and this is what I, I, I told you guys earlier about egos and pride, yes. pride yeah. and trying to exercise powers. Mm -hmm. Stamping we, authority. Yes, <laughs> we are leaving Morris. Even if he's the national team cool. coach, we are leaving him. Mm -hmm. This is what it's all about. So what does that tell you? It's not about us winning, but it's all about make sure Morris Odumbe doesn't travel. Yeah. Irrespective of what he offers the team, yeah. irrespective of his experience and all that. That's kind of witch hunt. It is witch hunt. It is witch hunt. I'll be very honest with you. I, I've been mistreated uh, whilst, I'm, whilst I've been there. I'll tell you that for a fact. I've been mistreated. I've not had a smooth run at all. At all, at all. So what's mm. the essence in the first place appointing you mm. to be in charge of the national team when you can't travel with the rest of the squad? Yeah, why hire me then? Because the thing is, maybe it will look good to silence, the, yeah, yeah. To silence the critics. We've yeah. brought him back. Remember, he's been out. So we, we've brought him back. But when it comes to the major, so-called major events, Morris will be left behind. Especially when we are going to countries where cricket is known. 
Yeah. Because that's where the assumption is my name is big. Oh, they will, they will, you know, attention will be on him. Yeah. So if it's Rwanda, it's okay, you can go. But not Dubai, not India. Not and Dubai. how was the performance in South Africa now that they Very traveled poor. without you? Very poor. It has always been poor. The only time they've won an event is when I went with them to Rwanda. That's the only time. But every time they've left me behind, they've come back uh, with a very poor performance. Poor performances, yeah. Plenty of stories mm. and plenty of questions as well. Some guy mm. from Rongai in Nakuru Festas is asking, uh, ask Morris, did he take bribe from the bookmarkers as it's being alleged? Mm -hmm. because, because he has insisted this before several times. Yeah. But once again, and I'm asking this for the last time. The thing is this. Uh, will you pay Harambe Stars to lose to Brazil? For the sake of patriotism, no. No, but do you think Bra uh, Harambe Stars can beat Brazil? No. What are the chances? Exactly. So when Kenya is going out there to play against Australia, what are the odds? So you can... Probability that Australia would beat Kenya is high. There you go. So the bookmaker was a friend, but as I said again, how do you bribe Harambe Stars to lose to Brazil? It's next to impossible. So, there was so in this case, Kenya was playing against whom? Well, there was never a match. It is just that this guy was a friend. So you can borrow money from a friend, can't you? So that is what it was. It was a friendship. And let me be honest with you also, I'll tell you something. When these teams travel out there, they stay in a hotel. Maybe you are down there having tea or something and somebody comes and joins you. Hey, Wanyama, for example, are you going to start asking this fellow, oh, what do you do? Who are you? Are you a bookmaker? Will you do that? No. So it's the same thing. Then we had a relation. But later on, it turned, it turned out that he was a bookmaker. But if you look at the story, even my case, it was a miscarriage of justice. If, if, if they had found me guilty of taking money from the bookmaker, they would have given me life. But remember, life yes, yeah. they would have given me life ban. But what, is my, or what was my accusation? inappropriate contact with a bookmaker that would have brought the game into disrepute yeah. so which game did I bring into disrepute none but because I'm from a small country Kenya no godfather they wanted a scapegoat there you go how many have been caught red-handed and they, they've just been fined 5,000 because like this ball tampering how many years were they given one 12 months because they are superpower. Maurice, I know during your heyday days <laughs> representing the country, mm. you know, the country performing better on both continental and international fronts, several mm. people associated with you, mm. you had plenty of friends, mm. government representatives were so proud of you. Mm. It's still the same case No, right no, it now. can never be the same case. You know, Kenyans like to worship heroes, you know, uh, and, and thieves, you know, the more you still... They glorify uh, There you go. Vices. This is it. But the minute you sleep a bit, and even when, they, when you think about it, country never stood behind me when these guys were coming after me. They never did. Because if you look at any other case where it involves much fixing, yeah. look how their government gets behind them. And not only in, in cricket, even these guys who are being accused of drug cheats and all that, you know, they have to be very keen and know it could be a scheme to finish them. Finish 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 them. Yeah. Yeah. Look what IAAF is doing, trying to curtail certain races. Like Russia, what they did to Russia in the Olympics. This is it, yeah. yeah. So we have to be careful, we, you know, let's not accept anything that is, we are spoon fed. You know, because a lot of people don't know I was judged because of inappropriate contact. Conduct. Inappropriate. You are friends with a bad man. Why? Now, how would you know this guy is bad? So, you know, th those kind of things. So we, we, we need to be alive to certain facts that, hey, let's not take things at face value. Oh, Ali Shtakiwa, huh? he was found guilty. But then ask yourself, wh who are their witnesses? In, in fact, like in my case, who are their witnesses? Ex-girlfriends, not even a single cricketer. So what does that tell you? <laughs> so has so been life off the heroic, you mm -hmm. know, circles. Yes. How have you been coping up with life off the cricket circles and 
of the glorifying days mm. of no, yourself? It, it's, we can't complain, to be honest with you, because as I said, handling the national team, you know, something to do, but again, there are problems. Uh, we don't know if we are going to be paid our salaries because there's nobody to sign the checks. You know, so we're in a limbo again. God knows for how long. So I cannot say, oh, it's beautiful. Things are working nicely. No, they're not. Because our cricket is dead and it's, it's more or less buried. But I refuse to accept that cricket has gone down. It's a question of just removing a few officials and we move on. Now, your final mm -hmm. word in terms of, mm -hmm. as we wind up on this particular segment, mm -hmm. what will be your advice to the footballers, not only in cricket, but across mm -hmm. sporting disciplines, with regard to what should they do right now mm -hmm. and uh, heading into days of their life after the sport? Well, you know, they always say that, oh, save and invest and all that. But how much are you being given for you to save and to invest. This, this, we're not talking about the Wanyamas of the world. Yes. Fine, they say, oh, even if it's 10 shillings, you can still save. But what I could say is that just plan for the future. Uh, doesn't matter how little the amount might be, but just put Kidogo aside. And you never know, you know, those rainy days, it might just yeah. help you out. But, you know, with our African society, once everybody knows you earn Kidogo, there's a cousin here, there's this here. So, you know, it, it, it becomes a bit difficult, but the best thing is just prepare for the future. And Thanks, yeah. man, for coming through. No, no it's problem. always Thank a pleasure and an honor yeah. having you. Maurice Sorry, Ogumbe, cricket legend and icon, joining us to dissect about the state of the cricket in the country and talking about uh, his heydays, mm -hmm. denying claims that, you know, he received bribe from bookmakers mm -hmm. to fix a game, giving a comparison to a match that probably would involve Kenya against a heavyweight like Brazil or Australia as far as the world of cricket is concerned. This is the touchline on Y254. My name is Maxwell Wasike. Don't go away. Of course, the fan zone, the fan favorite segment as we give focus on international football is coming up. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the Norwegian international, has been given full managerial capacity as the man to steer Man United to another level. That forms the basis of our discussion up next. Don't go away. Stay tuned.